Two weeks ago, I have done an unboxing video and a first look of the GoPro Hero 6. So what have I done in these two weeks? Well, I have taken this to New Zealand to test it. This is how determined we are in photo gear news to bring you all the news about photo gear. Oh shit. Oh, ah, so right, it's a GoPro. First, I got to ride on the loot. Look, we're embracing line. Oh, it's not really unique to New Zealand, but it's so much fun. <laughs> One thing obvious is that how good is the electronic stabilization? Especially how much it had improved from the Hero 5. Especially I had a pretty loose helmet, but this is the less stinky one I can find. Oh, but this, this is going so bad! Oh yes, as you may know, this takes 4K 60p footage, which is crazy when no other mirrorless DSLR could do that. It can also take 1080p Full HD at 240fps. So this B2 camera can take 4K video at 60fps and Full HD 1080 video at 240 fps which is kind of crazy but this sounds very familiar with another camera just released recently which one's it well yes you can say this is like comparing apple to gopro you won't really mount your phone outside of your car but just putting things into perspective One thing the iPhone can't do is 2.7K 120fps And now you can even zoom in Digital zoom though And you can't zoom during recording If you haven't forgotten about the GoPro Karma Yes, this is one of the reasons you should get the Karma You've got to swap the Hero 5 you have bought with the Karma and put the new Hero 6 on it If you don't mind, I'm comparing Apple to GoPro. I'm putting them together then. Alright, how does the GoPro do for vlogging compared to the iPhone? Uh, sorry about that, I keep talking about vlogging. Not, I know not, not everyone trying to do vlogging, but uh, well, you can see it as something like uh, point and gun. Point and gun, gun, gun and point. Run and gun. <laughs> point and gun. I think the microphone, the image stabilization on both the iPhone and the GoPro are brilliant for vlogging. But in low light, well, now this is not even really that low light, it's just indoor. GoPro really excel in outdoor activities, all those surfing, this and that, in bright sunlight. Uh, in indoor, it's really not that good. Well, one thing good for vlogging is that the GoPro got a really wide-angle lens though. I'm using the linear wheel now. It's not even the widest already. And it's, it's, it's really great for vlogging. I mean, the iPhone is a bit tight. One thing though, over the lens, there is a Gorilla Glass cover to protect the lens. You don't have to have a protective casing, but that means that you can't remove this glass. Before the GoPro 5 or the GoPro, you have a protective casing. So you can choose to put on the casing or take it off. If you don't need the protection, you need the better image quality, you can remove it. So it's just the glass, I mean, just the lens element sticking out. But this is always in front of the case. Oh shit, oh, oh, all the way down. Sorry, it's the GoPro. And yes, the color finishing is pretty bad. And you got flaring, ghosting, but really, GoPro is never about in-range quality. It's about the extreme places you can mount the GoPro on. Wow! Wow! And 
This is what GoPro Hero 6 is about, improving what's meaningful for an action camera. The best electronic image stabilization ever, 4K 60p, all only possible with GoPro's first self-developed processor. And I think their own processor is GoPro's best weapons against the competition. Without that, everybody else will always stay behind.